If you plan to hire a professional photographer and take pictures at a Metro Park, get ready to cough up a hefty permit fee. As News Channel 5 Shannon Royster discovered, security is cracking down on the regulation, making it difficult for photographers. Alex Lucas is a professional photographer. He has a website, but he doesn't have his own studio yet. I love images. So he uses the great outdoors as his backdrop. Nature is what you are. You're born into nature. It makes a great picture. The problem is, in order to take pictures in Metro Parks, you need to have liability insurance. You need to have a permit application. You have to fill out the paperwork. It's hard to tell what's going on here. It's literally, I mean, it's easier to file your tax returns than it is to get a permit to shoot in a Metro Park. And you have to pay $125 for the permit. If you take a selfie of yourself at the park, that's free. If you take a picture of your friend or the sights while you're here at the park, that's also free. But when you hire someone or a professional to take those pictures, that's when a permit is required. Most people just don't do it. But then the rest of us who want to be right and legal and do everything by the books realizes the books are messed up. Whether you're filming a big budget motion picture or a small business photographer taking pictures in the park, the fee is the same. And that fee is limiting where photographers take images. You still want to give your, your clients options and you sure as in, in the world do not want them to, to charge a hundred and extra 25 bucks just because the city needs a cut for reasons I can't explain. Metro Parks Director Tommy Lynch says the permits are issued to provide a moderate reimbursement to taxpayers for the use of city property by commercial entities. Certificates of insurance are required to protect both the business and taxpayers from any liability that might arise during that shoot. You can't afford to do it. Shannon Royster. All it is is creating a chilling effect on anybody who wants to shoot in these beautiful parks that they've already built. News Channel 5. Way to be honest, Alex. Last calendar year for both film and photography, Metro Parks collected a little over $10,000. So far this year, they've issued 108 permits for a total of $13,500. For more information and a link to Metro Parks, go to newschannel5.com.